Senator Lionhill. Thank you, Chair. Um, I seek leave to move items one and two on sheet 7963. Is leave granted? <coughs> to, sorry, Senator Lionhelm, together. Together, please. Together. Yes. Is leave granted? Yes. Leave is granted. Senator I, Lionhelm. I move the amendments. Um, my amendments ap apply a 10-year sunset clause to the schedules of this bill that most restrict individual liberties. The fact that the sunset clause does not apply to all the schedules that restrict individual liberties indicates that my approach to these bills is not broad brush, simplistic or, dare I say, purist. Indeed, I do not have a blanket opposition to control orders or to the provision that allows them to apply to 14-year-olds. So if the government restricted this bill just to that provision, it would have my support. The Liberal Democrats are not extremists. We value a regionally superior defence force as well as our nation's alliances. We value strong borders and we support the licensing of firearm owners. We see the need for thorough enforcement of criminal law, including through, through surveillance of suspects. And we see the need for sentencing to be colour blind and take into account the need to keep the community safe from reoffending. We are clearly not the Greens. We also see that Liberal values need to be defended. My amendment applies a 10-year sunset clause to the bill's changes to preventive detention, Schedule 5. This means that if, if this parliament decides that preventive detention should continue beyond its current sunsetting date of 7 September 2018, then this bill's changes to preventive detention will last until 2026, at which time the requirements for imposing preventive detention will revert to the law in force prior to today's bill. We will see a return to the requirement that a terrorist act is imminent unless the parliament in a decade's time decides otherwise. My amendment applies a 10-year sunset clause to the bill's changes to control orders. That's schedules 2, 3, 8, 9, 10 and 15. This means that <coughs> if this parliament decides that control orders should continue beyond their current sunsetting date of 7 September 2018, then the bill's changes to control orders will last until 2026, at which time control order powers will revert to those in force prior to today's bill. Control orders will be limited to people who are 16 or older unless the parliament in a decade's time decides otherwise. My amendment, my amendment also applies a 10-year sunset clause to the bill's offence for advocating genocide, Schedule 11, the bill's ban on games and videos that promote terrorism, Schedule 13, and the bill's changes that make it easier to get a delayed notification search warrant, Schedule 14. This is a very mild amendment, and sunset sh clauses should be applied to this sort of legislation as a matter of course in a Liberal democracy. The government justifies its bills by referring in its explanatory memorandum to a heightened threat environment. The government should not legislate as if this heightened threat environment is permanent. I commend my amendments to the Senate. Minister. Well, just quickly, Senator Lionhelm. Um, the amendments in relation to preventative detention orders and control orders are amendments to existing sections of the Criminal Code, all of which sunset on 7 September 2018. So these amend, uh, uh, the amended sections um, were, uh, were the bill to be um, carried past by the Senate will sunset in any event on 7 September 2018. The effect of your amendment um, in relation to preventative detention orders and control orders would be, in fact, to extend the operation of those provisions by eight years longer than the existing sunset um, clause. So I think um, you're wrong about that with respect, Senator Lionhill. Um, in relation to the offence of genocide and the other matters you mentioned, I simply don't agree with you um, that, uh, and your general proposition that all um, legislation of this kind should be sunsetted. Um, uh, there are some, such as the control orders and the preventive <coughs> detention orders, which for obvious reasons should be. But sometimes society has to make a choice as to whether or not we create, for example, a new category of criminal offence. 
I myself think that it should always be a crime to advocate the commission of genocide. I don't think that that is something the need for which uh, is a time limited or a temporal um, or a contingent need. I think it is something that as a matter of policy uh, Australia should accept that it ought to be a crime to advocate genocide. So I don't think that um, uh, uh, section is suitable for sunsetting either. And the same observation applies to those other um, items of the bill that you've mentioned um, which are not caught by the existing sunset uh, clause that sunsets on the 7th of September 2018. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep my remarks short because out of courtesy to Senator Wong who has an appointment um, I, I, I just wanted to wind up there with those observations.